Okay, so we inside the world machine and this is basic setup without two T-rays, so I'll remove those ones. We have advanced Perlin and I want to create a mountain in the middle. So we'll go to the layout view, let's zoom out and we have right here our area. Okay, a um, couple things on this area, what I want to do is create mountain inside. We can change and increase uh, scale maybe just you know slightly bigger okay but what I want to do is create a new layout circle and just in this area I'm just going to create right here let's right click do deselect and you know what shrink down I want to be sure this circle fit inside this area um, also let's enable breakout it's add kind of interesting effect pop-up roughness for this okay we can scale a little bit more closer maybe around I think this work around right Okay, let's go back to layout. Right here we have our layout. So I want to take this layout and connect to the mask. Now you can see we have our Perlin applied and it's mask with a shape. So inside Perlin we can reduce slightly um, detail, or increase details, reduce scale. Okay, we'll use it, bring it by default. And you know what, maybe pop up stepness, elevation, Okay, some of those I probably will come back and modify after we'll apply some erosion type. And we'll go natural, we'll go erosions. We want to have it a very complex. If you're interested about how world machine work, I have it, uh, many different tutorials. You can just watch them free online. And uh, we'll explain a little bit better how the all nodes working and connecting. Overall here, it's a very basic setup what I'm doing. So right here I'm going to channel it, so we'll have this nice erosion going. Let's enable time and it will pop up just slightly. So you can see right here in preview. Okay, we'll just leave it like, let's go leave it right here. Render very fast so we can preview and here's our mountain that create a very kind of, just put together. We'll have a different maps for this. So next, what I want to do, it's going to options and pop up about 4,000 pixels. So I want higher resolution. It will take a little bit longer time to render, but um, it will provide much better map, high field map. Next, I want to connect because I want to save flow map, wear map, and deposit map. And I want to use it to them as an example inside the world machine or inside the detergent from world machine maps for the texturing so high map it's the first and you'll notice if you open double time click on a high output you can high field and we have an option export as a tarjan or export as tff any other prompt and i will output this high field as tff because i want to have a workflow to show what's happening if you have just the image you want to import and how we can manipulate with this image in proper place. Okay, so I just type path in, click OK, and we can just go to outputs, and right here you'll notice we have it um, bitmap, mesh, hide output, and text. So we just want to create it. one, two, three more. Let's go connect them, flow, so we can open. TFF and let's go paste address and says flow. Okay. We'll take another one, connect to the where. Okay, same set as TFF. Okay, and we have it one more. Let's take and connect this to deposit. You can output just as images, 
but I won't keep it um, connect directly to this. Let's go click OK. Then next things, what I want to do it is um, render. Let me preview very fast. Right here we have it. Pop up chest elevation. Slightly up. Click OK. And let's go to render. This will take a little bit time, so I'm going pause tutorials and come back when this render is completed. Okay, so the render is done. It took about 3 minutes 40 seconds. Let's click OK. We can go to File and just says Export All. So now those images are saved. You also can preview see with a map. Okay, let me select an erosion one. You can see with higher details we have a better resolution and look more interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue working inside the detergent. 